These are called sticky notes. Some people also call them post-it notes. They're called sticky notes because they are sticky. Sticky means that if they touch something, they will stick to it. The sticky note is sticking to the cover of the book. If you step on gum, it might stick to the bottom of your shoe. Grains of sticky rice stick to each other. Sticky is an adjective and stick is a verb. The three forms of the verb stick are stick, stuck, and stuck. For example, a moment ago, I stuck a sticky note to the cover of a book. Or, someone has stuck sticky notes to their laptop screen. We also have the adjective stuck. When something is stuck, this means that it cannot go anywhere or cannot move. For example, my ring is stuck on my finger. I cannot get it off. Our car got stuck in the mud and we had to push it. Or, we were stuck at home because of the blizzard. And there are also some other ways that we can use these words. For example, when we talk about someone sticking to something, this means that they continue to use it or follow it. And we often use this when someone is doing something difficult. For example, I know we need to buy some new things, but we need to stick to our budget. Most people have difficulty sticking to a diet. Or, although we faced some problems, we stuck to our plan. And in many situations like those, you can also use stick with, but not always. There is also to be stuck with someone or something. This means that they are now with you, even though you might not want them to be. For example, her husband went to a football game, so she was stuck with the kids all day. If someone is stuck up, this means that they act like they are better or more important than other people. For example, no one likes him because he is a stuck-up jerk. And finally, we have the phrasal verb stick around. To stick around basically means to stay somewhere for a period of time. For example, if someone says, do you mind if I stick around? This basically means, do you mind if I stay here or do you want me to leave? And there are also a lot of other ways that we can use these words, especially if we consider all of the phrasal verbs with the word stick in them. But these are the ones that I wanted to talk about in this video today. I hope you learned something. Thank you for watching.